Greetings. My name is Benny Plow. I'm from the great city of Brooklyn. I approach myself to you Americans today, not for the fame, not for the loyalty, or anything that may be convenient for my own good purposes. Rather, I approach all of you, the Americans, and for your own good purposes, we are about 12 and a half days until the 45th President of the United States of America is chosen upon us. One candidate will be Commander in Chief, as we say, and the other candidate will be considered the loser. The two candidates are for the Democratic Party, Hillary Rodham Clinton and Tim Kaine. For the Republican Party, Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence. Each candidate, especially in this election, represents their own theme towards American policies and towards the American people. One candidate supports abortion. It's quite interesting. On my, my behalf? On my, my behalf? It's quite interesting. And the other one says, It's disgraceful. One candidate supports open borders. For 65,000 more illegal refugees can come pouring into our beautiful country called America. Let's just stop there for one second. Just one second. I'll take a little pause. So, one candidate wants more illegal immigrants, more illegal refugees to pour into the country when you have terrorists outside your house every single day. How can someone stupid person be? How can someone stupid person be? You already have terrorists. The Orlando shooting wasn't enough. Was it enough? I think it was plenty. It's enough. If, then you have the New York bombing. Then you have the New Jersey bombing that's connected to it. And one candidate wants to allow 65,000 more illegal refugees? Now, the candidate's not saying that if you're legal, you can't come. 100%. The candidate says you could come if you're legal and you're legalized and we know where you're coming from. But if you're going to come out of the out of the blue and just you, we don't know who the hell you are, where the hell you came from. And you're just coming pouring the country. You can have guns on you. You can have drugs. America doesn't cannot afford that right now. They can't. They can't. They can't, they can't afford something like that. And you, the audacity, the candidate that I'm about to announce soon has the audacity to make that policy allowed in our country it, it's crazy no <sighs> yeah it, 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 it but the other candidate does not allow illegal refugees and as a matter of fact the illegal refugees that are here previously from this these past four years those illegal immigrants will be deported only if they are a threat to society now that candidate's not going to destroy every illegal immigrant no 100 percent. if they're fair they're nice they're good people by all means, they can stay. But if they are illegal immigrants and, and they're and they're they are terrorists and, and what, people like the bombing, get them the hell out of here, man! They can't be here. They have no right to or say to be treated as a regular fair citizen who was born in the United States of America or a legal citizen. It's crazy. You got one candidate who's. Yeah, but we'll, we'll go on. We'll, we'll, we'll go on. Okay. Fun. One candidate supports and wants to raise taxes. I don't know who this candidate is that I'm, I'm going to announce. I mean, I know who it is. But before we all say, this candidate is crazy to raise taxes and expand Obamacare premium that the money will go up through the roof. Obamacare is going to go up even more it's not high enough we don't have to pay everything that we get from our job here you go obamacare here you go here you go oh, take all my money who gives a crap 
It's done, folks. It's fun. That's a crazy policy. Forget the then you then you have Obamacare and you want to raise your own taxes. Oh, oh, but, but wait, but wait, wait. Listen to this. Put Obamacare aside for a second. Put this aside for a second. I'm going to read this right now. And the other candidate wants to replace Obamacare and lower the taxes maybe to a minimum of 15%. Oh, and by the way, the candidate who does want to, um, who wants to increase Obamacare premiums for wealthy class citizens, they are raising your taxes. They openly said, they openly said it. Okay. They openly said wealthy class citizens, their taxes will be increased. Let's move on. I have just listed three examples. One candidate in the beginning supported, like I just previously stated, every one candidate supported these three examples I have listed. And that candidate, my friends, is Hillary Rodham Clinton. Folks, like I said previously, this is not for my own good. I promise you, it's not. I don't want to be doing this. I don't want to be making a video, but I have to do this damn right right now because this is not going to happen. Um, this is not going to happen. It's for the country's best and for you people, for the American people. This is not fair to you. We're going to fix this. Hillary Clinton is dangerous. Hillary Clinton is a thief. And most of all, Hillary Clinton is a gigantic liar. Hillary Clinton seems nice outside. She fools a lot, a lot of people. Thinking she's the best for our country. She's so nice. She talks good. She bashes Trump. People fool for it, unfortunately. But inside of her, like Donald Trump previously stated during the debate inside this is what counts she has a lot of hatred he said that i believe during the second presidential debate a woman who can delete 33,000 emails from a private server which put our national security at risk and this was all after receiving a subpoena Shouldn't be even discussion for running for presidency. But wait, there's more. This woman then after realized when she was going to get in trouble, she took a hammer and slammed 13 phones that had those private emails. Th 13 phones. Let's take 13 phones. Here, here's one, here's, here's two, five, seven, 10, 13. She took every single one, she slammed it with a damn hammer, I don't know where the hell she got it from, and all those emails were demolished. This is just the beginning of Hillary Clinton's legacy, folks. It's just the beginning. She loves trouble, and quite frankly, she's very good at trouble. But the good news is we have something called WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks recovered all of those missing emails and share it to us every day. And what do they share? They share usually around 2,000 emails per average a day. Okay. Pretty good, no? At least we, we, we have sort of the emails where we can uh, know what she... <coughs> slammed with the damn hammer. Another thing that you all might want to know is that Donald Trump had a rally for his supporters a few weeks ago. And I'm a big Donald Trump supporter. And if this were to happen to me, I would have been pissed and I would have been going much more crazier than I am right now. What happened, you might ask? Hillary Clinton paid thugs to beat up physically, physically, physically at his rally. And in return, what do they get? $1,500 each. I don't know how many thugs there are, at least 10. 15. She paid over $10,000. Can you imagine? $15,000 for thugs to beat up people physically at Trump's rally. And they got an iPhone, each single one of them. And then 
Of course, the media doesn't cover it. The media is on her side. I'm sorry. People are going to disagree with me. The media is 1,000% on her side. Then, you have Hillary Clinton always every day saying, Oh, Donald Trump called the women pigs. Donald Trump called Mexican rapists. Here's the funny thing, folks. WikiLeaks just came out recently. Hillary Clinton called African Americans losers with quotes. Losers. Hillary Clinton called Donald Trump supporters a basket of deplorables. Hillary Clinton called Bernie Sanders supporters basement dwellers that living in their mother's basement. Now you want to tell me this is a president you want for the next four years? You want to tell me that? I don't think so, folks. I don't think so, folks. It's time for a change. It's time. It's over. Obama, Hillary Clinton, gone. It's time for America to be great again. Like Donald Trump. Make America great again. And we're not going to have America great with this woman. She's a sick, ill, and that's without her mental problems. Folks, I'm telling you, and I'm asking on my behalf. I know I have no say, but for the country's say. I didn't have to do this, make this stupid video. It's not a stupid video. I would love, I love making this video, but I have to bring out my point to individuals. Folks, you all must vote for Donald Trump. African Americans, Hispanics, everything, whites, women, men, vote for Trump. Four more years, and you're going to have name coins like this. Your, your taxes are going to go up the roof. You won't be able to afford to be in Africa being like the... People like that, and you're going to be... I feel bad. I feel... I love Africa. It's a great people, a fantastic people, and unfortunately, they're suffering. We're going to be like that if we get those taxes and Obamacare premium if she's elected as president. We're going to have terrorists, and we have plenty of them already, and I don't need another six-year-old six year old terrorist outside I come to my house in the morning playing with a real handgun. I don't need that. I don't. We have enough terrorists to worry about. Folks, this has got to stop. You need to vote for Donald Trump. I'm asking you on my behalf. Donald Trump loves America. And Donald Trump always said this, folks. And I, I, I believe it's true. He never needed to do this. He had a great career, great life. He made good money. And you know what? He wants to show appreciation to the United States of America, which did such good favor and for his lifetime. And he wants to pay back. And folks, what you got to do is vote for him. And your life, your life will rotate. And you'll get everything back. Your taxes are going to lower. Illegal immigrants are going are, are, are to slow down incre uh, decreasingly and Hillary Clinton will do the exact opposite. Folks, do me a favor. Vote for Donald Trump 2016. You want to make your life great again? You want to make America great? Your life might be great. You want to make America great again? Vote for Donald Trump. <sighs> That's the only words I have to say. Thank you. Have a good evening.